autofocus. It's a very helpful tool if you ask me, but it ain't professional. At least it's been that way for a very long time. But now you see this feature bleed into more and more cinema cameras. And if you're using any vintage or cinema glass, you know there are tools that let you turn these lenses into autofocus lenses. And one of these tools I'll talk about in this video. The PD Movie Live Air 3 Smart. That rolls off the tongue just like butter. I came across this whole thing when I was scrolling through my Instagram feed and I just really had to try it. So I reached out to PD Movie and they sent me a unit for review. But this video is not sponsored and I'm sharing my honest opinion about this device. There are different packages that you can get with this. And the one I have here came with this very cool big knob controller basically. So this looks like something that you know, like something familiar. But at its core it's this super super tiny controller that you can basically screw into any quarter inch screw hole and it works just like that. While this is super tiny, the motor has a more reasonable size, but it also packs like a lot of cool features that we will get to in a second. And pretty much most of it is made from metal and the small parts that are made from plastic do feel very high quality. Premium plastic, you know? And it also, it also doesn't really smell like that bad. Now, before we get into the main feature that we're probably all here for and talk about how this device magically turns any lens imaginable into an autofocus lens, I want to talk about using this device as a regular wireless follow focus. And for that, the main selling point might just be the very, very microscopic size of the controller itself. It's just very helpful to have this super, super tiny controller that you can mount anywhere which is great for scenarios where you really only have your thumb to control focus, like on a gimbal for example. I think the best comparison for this would be a Nucleus Nano 2 by Tilta, where the controller already is small, but this is just next level. Like, come on, this is just like a third of it or quarter. And then again, the Nucleus does have some more elaborate controls, while on a device this size, both the controller and the motor only have one button each, which does make the controls a bit cryptic to begin with, but once you get a hang of it, it works just fine. I guess the Nucleus would be a better choice as just a standalone wireless follow focus, but it does lack that one feature that we'll talk about in a moment. One more downside I've noticed though, is that the controller does leak some sticky residue that's very hard to come off and kind of reminds me of what happened to another very cheap follow focus I've bought years ago. Luckily, it's not nearly as severe. So far the motor has been strong enough to torque every single cinema lens I've tested it with and was even quite fast and responsive. And all that works with just using the internal battery but you can also just hook it up with USB-C. The battery life is also pretty impressive with 6 to 8 hours for the motor and 8 to 10 hours for the controller. And there are even multiple batteries and a charger in the box so you don't really have to worry about that at all with this system. Once you've calibrated a lens, you can store its data indicated by a certain color of the light on the motor, which is especially helpful when it comes to autofocus. So let's talk about autofocus. Just a quick interruption. I said there's gonna be a giveaway at 3K subscribers and we completely surpassed that goal. So uh, follow the link in the description if you wanna participate and back to the video. In order to use autofocus, you first need to set up the specific lens that you want to use. This does take some practice, but once again, as soon as you've done it a few times, you can do it quite fast. It usually takes me around five minutes setting up a new lens. And once you've done that, the device actually simulates the lens data using AI. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds cool as heck. You can save up to five different lenses once you've calibrated them and switch between them with just a double tap on the single button on the motor. It doesn't really sound like that much, but it works for the lenses I have. And realistically, if you rent a set of cinema lenses, then you'll have to calibrate them again anyway. Once you've set up autofocus, the motor is actually using a built-in LiDAR sensor to measure the distance between the subject and the camera and pull focus accordingly. It's pretty impressive that it's built in, but it also can be kind of annoying. Because alternative systems to this do have a separate lighter sensor that you can mount anywhere on your rig. This is especially helpful if you're using any sort of matte box or anything that blocks the lighter sensor. But you know, you can definitely work around this issue as long as the autofocus is worth using. So is it worth using? And the answer is yes, it does actually work pretty well. If 
nothing is blocking the LiDAR sensor. But when it works, it works very fast and reliable and even works in the most challenging lighting scenarios. But as soon as like you have some foreground elements that block the LiDAR sensor, you know, it's really unusable. And also if you want to track your subject's face or anything like that, any, any fancy stuff, you should really just stick to the controller. All in all, this device isn't perfect and it sure has its limitations. But if you know of these limitations, the Live Air 3 Smart by PD Movie can be a very useful tool. It's a solid, super compact wireless follow focus that also just happens to be able to turn your manual lenses into autofocus lenses at a compelling price point. I personally really enjoy using this system for these solo talking head shoots, so if you think this is something that could make your life a little easier too, you can visit the official PD Movie website in the description below to get more information and discounts. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe and YouTube thinks that this video here, right here, this is something that you might like. So, is that true? Try it out. Check it out right here. Click on that video. All right. Bye.